Hello and welcome to another update video about Link. Link continues to be in this sideways range. Unfortunately, not a very um, exciting day today. It feels like all markets are just moving sideways today. Um, not only crypto, but um, a bit of selling pressure there, but really only sideways. Uh, it's not only that. I mean, I've got uh, gold moving sideways, silver, platinum. Um, what have I looked at today? I mean, I, you know, all sorts of like other markets as well. The SPX just moving sideways, all are ranging at the moment. That makes it a bit difficult to talk about new stuff. Um, but let's take a look at um, Link and where Link is currently positioned in its Elliott Wave structure. The idea is a wave one topped here around the 10th of March. Price topped around $22.80, right? And then we have a wave W to the downside, a wave X to the upside, and now we could be in the Y wave down. So that's the idea, you know, the main thesis is that we are on our way towards the $10 level. How get how do we get to $10? First of all, it's a psychological level, that very important level. Oftentimes prices get drawn to these levels, test them, maybe then turn around. Um, in addition to that, we've got um, this level just below 1066, which is the 50% retracement level, a very, very important Fibonacci retracement for such a wave two correction. In addition to that, what we can do, we can take the length of wave W, which is the first leg of that correction that started up here in March. We go to the top of the X wave and then we get to the $10 level pretty much. Yeah, that's because how do we get to, how, how do we get there? Well, the Y wave often has the same length as the wave W. That's basically it. Could go lower, it doesn't need to stop at $10, but that is sort of the next milestone target in this correction. Um, do we have to get there? No. Does the market already fulfill the requirements to have completed the correction? Yes, but really only the bare minimum. I mean, you see that the price bottomed here locally on the 13th of April. Um, yep, I could say the wave two bottomed here, but the market failed to form a five wave rally from there. Okay, we didn't get a five wave rally from there and it's only a three wave move. So there's literally no evidence that a low is in. I mean, anything can happen, but we are not here for what can happen. We're here for what should happen. Yeah, so probabilities and possibilities are not the same. Very, very important. And yeah, what am I watching for now? So it could either, either, it could either be that the market goes down more directly. This is the triangle pattern I'm watching here at the moment, where we topped obviously in the X wave, then, you know, the Y wave is an ABC structure. So I can count a possible five wave move down here into the um, 18th of June low, where the price bottomed around 12.88. Then this here looks like a range. So I've been highlighting from the beginning, it could be a triangle like A wave up, B wave down, C wave up, D wave, E wave, and that gives us this kind of triangle look and triangle pattern. Important would be to maintain the idea that this is indeed an Elliott wave triangle. Um, well, it, it is very important that the market does not break above the yellow line at $14.80. Now, does that mean it can't? Of course it can, but in that case, it wouldn't be an Elliott wave triangle anymore. That would be the invalidation point, the formal invalidation point for the triangle. But it could still be a B wave. I mean, this way I'm tracking the concept of B wave as a triangle might be a bit premature. I know that and I've been highlighting that this is not a reliable scenario, um, but it's just, you know, just ranging at the moment. And it's not it's not done anything to invalidate the idea of the triangle. Now, I did give you yesterday this support region, uh, a region for a pullback to watch. So if we get now a pullback now, yeah, then this could be the D wave, but it could also be in the yellow count. So it's the D wave of the triangle, but it could also be a wave two in a larger C wave within wave B. So if, if we break above the yellow line, obviously, as I said, the triangle is invalidated, but that does not rule out that we will see the $10 mark, okay, um, that the price will test it. So it could just simply be that this B wave which I'm tracking as a triangle, it's just a larger flat correction. It's actually quite likely because triangles are not very reliable patterns. But I'm pointing out, okay, we can see it as a triangle as long as below the yellow line, 
above the yellow line, I still see it as a B wave, but it would rather be um, a larger flat correction, just a different type of B wave. And in that case, then we can define a standard resistance area, which is defined between, and it's a standard B wave resistance, between $17.69 and $15.79. That's what I'm watching at the moment. Um, so yeah, I think we have to expect a little bit more sideways movement. It is possible now that this pullback has started. That's the update about Link. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.